I hope you watched my last video where we went up to the American Diamond Mine and saw the huge conglomerate pieces that once served as a protective cap over the lamperite at the American Mine. And I was looking at these massive pieces of conglomerate and saw something green catch my eye on one of them. So I took a chisel, I hope you saw that video, but I took a hammer and chisel and I chipped this piece out because I was fascinated by this green. I thought, what, what is this? They're just, I just haven't seen other green pieces on a conglomerate. Now conglomerate is nature's concrete. It's a whole bunch of pebbles of jasper and chalcedony and sand cemented together with iron. And uh, I wondered what this was. I chipped it off and some of the conglomerate came with it. And uh, fascinated by this green mineral. So uh, I took some pictures of it and then I started researching online names of different green minerals. What could it be? At first I thought it might be peridot, which is the gem quality olivine. Because this conglomerate was in close proximity to olivine lamperite and uh, sometimes we do find peridot in it but it didn't look like any peridot I had found at the crater of diamonds so I ruled that out as a possibility uh, diopside is also green and is found at the crater of diamonds and in the lamperites in Pike County Arkansas but this wasn't diopside either uh, chromium diopside it just didn't look right uh, another green mineral is malachite and I thought, well, I've seen malachite. I have a piece of malachite. That, that isn't it. Emerald is another green mineral. And I thought, well, I'd love for it to be emerald. I'd love to find an emerald in Arkansas. But by any stretch of the imagination, this just was not emerald. What I finally... Now, I took this picture. I wet the mineral because the others were dry. And sometimes when you wet it, it brings out the color better. So... Uh, that, that's why this one looks different than the other pictures. Uh, so the, the green color really comes out well when it's wet. These other pictures are of it wet as well. I turned it every which way to try to get the you know, color caught well by the camera. While doing research, I learned of a new green mineral I'd never heard of before. It's called Chrysoprase, C-H-R-Y-S-O-P-R-A-S-E, and I believe this is what it is, Chrysoprase, because that is a gem variety of chalcedony. Well, there's chalcedony along with the jasper in the conglomerates, and If you have chalcedony that has some nickel content, that'll give it the color green. And so I could be wrong. I'm not a geologist or gemologist, just an old prospector. But I think what I found here was a piece, a specimen of chrysoprase, which is gem variety chalcedony that has been colored green because of the presence of nickel. And so, what is this specimen worth? Uh, probably about five cents, you know. <laughs> a, uh, a nickel's worth five cents. Now, I went on the internet to see, well, am I right? So, I got pictures of chrysoprase. And, of course, with anything, there's a lot of a wide variety of pictures. So, we'll just go through and look at some of them. Now, this is real, real gemmy. It almost looks like jade or something, but... Uh, uh, here's a whole pile of uh, chrysoprase, and it kind of looks like what I found. Um, now that's that was a small picture, but uh, we'll we'll move it in. But you know that I think I think what I found up there was chrysoprase. These are all chrysoprase, right off of uh, Google Images. So that's how I. Figured, well, this is what I found by the photos and by the description. I believe 
that's what that is. So mystery solved in my mind. I could be wrong, but, you know, I'm right in my own mind. <laughs> well, somebody would argue that I'm right in my own mind, but anyhow. Uh, these are all, all pictures of Crystal Prez. And here's a big piece actually on a ring, and that's kind of pretty. And this is a ring as well. I mean, that almost looks like turquoise or jade or something like that, but that's chrysoprase. And this is as well. A few more pictures and we'll be done. But uh, those, are, those are real pretty. You know, from different places of the world, they're going to look different. The diamonds in Arkansas look different from the, the diamonds in uh, Africa. But anyhow, this is the last picture. We'll just go back and look at my mineral again. But uh, I'm saying chrysoprase. And I was able to take a hammer and chisel and chip it off of the conglomerate. And uh, anyway, I've got my mineral collection. And mystery solved as far as I'm concerned. I'm calling it chrysoprase, which is a gem variety of chalcedony colored by the presence of nickel.